that. I want I want to save those guys. I want to save everybody because it's better for everybody. Look, yeah. if people don't get wrecked and lose their money to margin trading, then the crypto prices all go higher because their money I isn't know. just sucked into the fucking the You can't save a degenerate. You can't save well, a degenerate gambler from himself. You can. Yeah. Hex literally does. No, Hex doesn't. literally does. Yes, it does. It locks you in and gives you yield and you can't get out. You're not going to get somebody who who knows that they're you know the risk like the people that are making thousand percent whatever they know mostly what they're putting up they know the risk they're taking you can't save everybody but you can help some people it's just like politics like you can't get most people to switch but you can get some people to switch yeah so so it does work it just works at like you know 0.3x but you can just give them the information it's up to them to decide you know if they want to be what they want to do i mean there's all kinds of like there's more to life than just giving people if you give people new things that they don't use it's just more suck like if you were to teach me more diet tips i'd be like great cool thanks for the diet tips i'm not going to use those ones either i know a lot of other ones as well thanks so what people need is actually more motivation and less education usually and so how do you do that social proof branding limited time offer um you know, there's there's all types of tactics to get people to change their behavior that have nothing to do with education. I wrote a video. I made a video yeah. on it. It's, it's in my YouTube called. Hey man, I've been a marketer for twenty twenty five years, so no, yeah. I know. So I mean, why That's are people like? Why do people? Uh, I mean, look, when most people get into crypto, they probably just buy the coolest looking logo. <laughs> like they're just like this one looks. This one looks technological. <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> this one sounds maybe. cool. Yeah. I just I do think it's too much work for me at least to to believe that I can pull some degenerate fucker out of some ridiculous um smart contract thing in their discord where they're mocking me for asking do you have an admin key uh, they're a lost cause like if they know the whole situation and they're still putting $10,000 in or even more uh I don't care. Like, go and you know, sit in the casino and play a rigged game of blackjack. I don't care. Right. You know, it's like the but the guy who's watching this conversation, who's like, shit, I didn't know that. Like, right. he's the guy that I care about. You know, yeah. so like the rest of my really, if I spent my days and nights caring about them, I would have no energy left. Oh, uh, I, hear I only, you, man. you know, it's it's just not worth it. Yeah. It's not worth it. And I learned this too. It's not just with crypto. It's with everything with, you know, people in your life who are depressed and who are, you know, people who go through stuff in your life and sort of bring negative energy into your life. You can be a positive role model for them or you can, you can offer positive thoughts to them, but you can't take full responsibility for their behavior. You know, you can't let them drag you into the mire. The the trick is to meet their previous. So everyone wants to meet their needs. And people have a need for variety, a need for significance, a need for certainty. And there are people that are adrenaline junkies. I have a message me occasionally. They're like, hey, man, mm-hmm. like, you know, I was thinking about doing this or doing that. Like, what's something really exciting I could do? I'm getting bored. And I'm just like, I'm glad I don't have that mindset. I'm so glad I don't have that mindset. I do. Cause... I have that mindset. Oh, I really? Get... I lived That's in rough. Vegas for three years, too. That's rough, like, dude. Before crypto. And uh, yeah, man, I lived in, I was gambled a shit ton. I have a gambling issue when i'm i did have a gambling problem down there i got lucky uh, and, i never had problems it. too but but <laughs> hey. like it's it's a thing you know it's like people just want that that um dopamine rush you know yeah. and uh, they get it out of it now that the people who are plowing money into yield farming are the same people who would be on gambling sites and, and yeah. you know uh, yeah. doing stuff like that yeah. it's the same thing so, so my tip is that you could meet those same needs through a different behavior that has less side effects, right? So instead of some people, when they smoke, instead of smoking, maybe you could get into chewing gum. Works for some people. doesn't work for everybody. You know, instead of, uh, you know, stealing shit from people, you could do vandalism. Okay, these ain't ideal. These are not ideal. But mm-hmm. vandalism is better than stealing people's shit. Like, you know, like, like tagging up a wall with your name and, and yeah. trying not to get busted by the cops. Yeah. You're going to get a fucking adrenaline rush here. Hey, Richard Hart's advocating for the vandalism of property. No, I'm not saying you should do this shit, but I'm saying that if you have two shitty behaviors, there is a less shitty and more shitty to get the same rush. Like, and so basically you want to meet your needs in the healthiest way that you can. 
and then you you'll find there's a lot of ways to have fun there's a lot of different games you can play like i used to be addicted to video games addicted hard addicted wake up play games until i couldn't stay awake no more and now i'm addicted to a different game which affects thousands and thousands of lives so instead of being a part mm-hmm. of someone else's narrative now i'm the one generating the narrative so now people are playing my game so instead of me living in someone else's world people are living in my world now so i'm able to make the world a better place you know and so so i just upgraded my game basically you know now i wake yeah. up and, and do hex until i fall asleep like so <clears throat> it's and people don't understand the mind like okay this is funny like i don't understand the like the uh degenerate or like adrenaline junkie mindset i mean lightly i lightly do i can empathize um but like people don't understand my set mindset they're like why don't you just quit i mean you've been you're rich why don't you just quit like why are you still why are you still oh you're gonna fork ethereum now like why like you're good i'm like no man i've, I've been retired since 2003 i don't i'm not in this i'm in this sort of fucking glory i'm not in it for the money i'm in it to know i did the best i could because look at my life man it hasn't changed Crypto goes yeah. up to 10x, 20x in price. What's changed? I'm sitting in the same place. Like, so okay, I got a $100,000 watch. I could have had a $100,000 watch in 2003. Like, just the same shit. I'm saying that. You're in this ev- for principle or are you in glory. this for, for ego? Glory. Ego. Glory. What's yeah, ego? Glory that. is ego, right? Sure. Yeah, sure. You want to be loved. Yep. Yeah. You want people to recognize you yep. for your work. And be you get nice. pissed when they don't. Yep. That's Even where I'm if at. You don't really like them. It sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> it kind of sucks. Yeah, yeah. Makes you grit your teeth. When I see, when I read Twitter, I grit my teeth. I'm like, I see people doing stupid shit. I'm like, oh. And it, and you're just you're. If that's your mindset, like if you're gritting your teeth and you're reading some shit, you probably should stop reading it. Truthfully, like I should stop reading Twitter. I agree. It just makes I me agree. angry all the time. It's not healthy. So what do you-